Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Our history of Indian residential schools and the 60s scoop has traumatized Aboriginal children and families for generations. This government has seen the impacts of this history in many forms. As an example, the number of Aboriginal children in care is significantly higher than any other culture. A mantra I have and will continue to utter is that we need to do better to help families in need because I have heard from so many parents that their children are taken into care and they don't understand why. Thank you to the Ministry of Human Services for implementing several approaches that puts communication and collaboration with families first. Thanks also for giving significantly more attention to maintaining a child's connection to their own culture and their religious or spiritual beliefs. Unfortunately, some children and youth tragically pass away while they're receiving child intervention services. And Mr. Speaker, very sad. Parents have expressed to me that they have felt victimized by the past publication ban that was in place because it didn't allow them to talk about their children who died. I have personally witnessed the heartbreak families have had to endure as they felt they had to remain quiet when their children died in care. And some of these children were taken for reasons unexplained. I see how, how that really could place a horrible onus on families. It makes my heart sore to see this government making efforts to respect families and their grieving. Mr. Speaker, I know the system is not perfect yet, but I am grateful for the changes made by the Ministry of Human Services to am amend the publication ban so that the name and photograph of a deceased child may be published. I recognize that families who do not wish have to have their child's name and photograph published may apply to the court for a ban. I am seeing a renewed focus on making sure families have the choice to speak publicly about their child or to seek privacy through a publication ban. The changes to the publication ban are giving control and choice back to the many Aboriginal families who have been impacted and still grappling with their losses. To me, this shows this government is committed to making sure that we bring dignity to families who are grieving the loss of a child.